I know you don't smoke weed. I know this. But I'm gonna get you high today. Cause it's Friday, you ain't got no job, and you ain't got shit to do. Anyway, what you That up, man. I'm the pastor. For what? Probably smoke bud, too. How you doing, brother Craig? How you doing? I'm all right. <clears throat> well, I'll see you. But yeah, is Sister Jones in? Nope. Neither is Brother Jones. They both at work. Well, your ass need to be nigga. Excuse me, brother. What we call drugs is 74th Street Baptist Church. We call us sin and sin. sin. Well, around here, between Normandy and Weston, we call this here a little twin and twin twin. Wow. Nigga. Okay, won't you just give him a little bit for my cataract? You didn't put in on this, man. You better get it received, my brother. Look, 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 she bending over. Claude, have mercy. The Lord is my shepherd. He know what I want. Excuse me, brother. Miss Parker, Miss Parker. Can I talk Told to you, Miss Parker? We be letting you know, evil lurks. This is the book of James, chapter 1, verse 13, and reads, Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. 14. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust, and enticed. 15. Then, when lust hath, hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Shalom, shalom. Uh, right before the video, I just, I just, I just wanted to make it clear because I know in the world, everybody loves saying, "Hey, uh, you no, know, you know, God made the God, God made weed. The Most High God, He made weed. So why not use it? What, what's wrong with it? If he made it, He made it for us. Okay, right, He did make it for us, but we know. We know he didn't make it for us to eat. I mean, I mean, he didn't make it for us to smoke, so like he made it for us to eat. Uh, going back to precept of that. Going back to Genesis, and this is going back to the beginning, man. In the first book, and it reads, it's Genesis chapter one and twenty nine. Let's, let's, let's go to Genesis. Uh, Genesis. And it reads, Genesis 1 and 29, and behold, God said, and it reads, and God said, behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree, and which is the fruit of a, tr of a tree yielding seed to you, it shall be for me. And, and we know, you know that every seed is, is including weed, man, because it, 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 before it's weed that you smoke, it's a seed, man. All right, and he gave us these seeds and these and these, and these weeds. He gave us these things for meat. He gave us these things to eat, man, to consume without, you know, and, 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 and you know, eat, man. But uh, going back to um, James, go back to James one thirteen. In the top, and it reads, uh, Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. So, you you, you, you know, like I said, you got people saying, Hey man, God made weed, so why we can use it? Yeah, He made it, but He didn't make it for evil, He didn't make it for you to smoke, He didn't make it for you to, uh, you know, He, he, he didn't, you know, use the word without abusing, man. He, he, he didn't make it for us to smoke it and get high and, and, and feel like you know, and, and, you know, forget, forget the world. All right. Fourteen. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when he, then when lust has conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin when it is finished bringeth forth death. So the the. the, the the, the the way the way our people are going about it now, you know, with, with this weed thing and, and, and just with seeing, you know, seeing by itself, man, and, and, 
what we're brothers don't what brothers and sisters don't understand that we lead to more sin. Cause now you now you high. Now you uh and you, 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 you fulfill the lust of the flesh, so you're not in the spirit. So if you fulfill the lust of the flesh, well what what, what comes with that? Adultery, fornication, uh you know, you know the, the, the fruits of the flesh, man. So and we we know that that just increases the chances of sin, and that just you know increases the chance of death, man. But with that, hope it was edifying, and hope the video that you're about to listen to is uh, edifying. Shalom, shalom, brother Yasir, keep the sheep. Back out here with another lesson. Most high will is edifying. Uh, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High, Yahweh, for Hashem, Yahweh Shah, for Hashem, Rikah, Kodash. Double honors to the elders, to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, Shalom, Shalom to the hopeful elect, all right? Uh, today's lesson will be titled, We Demons, because uh, we we all know somebody, we all know people who smoke weed, we all got we all got that family member who smoke weed, yeah, we, got, we even got some who smoke other things, right? So uh, yesterday in the world, we know we know it was uh, we know it was April uh, April twentieth, but but in the world it was so called four twenty, and we know we we know we know so called four twenty was a uh, is a is a day I guess they uh the weed holiday I don't know, but anyway I just uh want to do a pull a couple precepts on on why we shouldn't smoke weed because because everybody get confused and think oh we come from the earth we we is just a good thing yeah yeah we is just a good thing and the most high god did make weed he made it for us you're right but he didn't make it for us to smoke he didn't make it for us to, to, to defile our temple man you know he he gave us all these all these pretty trees and grass and leaves he gave us the stuff to eat not smoke man right jake always jake jake always take something man and, and, and put his twist on it and and, and make it wicked, man. We we, we wise to do wicked, man. Right? Like I said, everybody everybody thinks okay. Everybody think weed is weed is weed is this thing. It, it's not harmful, but ultimately it is harmful because because now you now you in the midst of sin, and now that sin ain't gonna lead to to death and destruction, man. But uh, let's start it off in First Peter. This is First Peter, chapter five. Verse seven, and it reads, uh, and it reads, cast, this is seven, this is first, Peter chapter five, verse seven, and it reads, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. This is eight, be sober, be vigilant. Scripture, scripture plainly say, be sober, be vigilant, man. We all know what sober means, and, and, and being vigilant, it's it, it just being like, just, you know, just watching, watching what's going on around you, man. Cause, cause, cause if you high, if if you high or drunk, you really not, you really, it's, it's, it's hard to pay attention to what's going on around you because you already not yourself. You already not, you know, you not here in the, in the, in the where you need to be. Cause your, your flesh is, you, you, you fulfilling the lust of your flesh. Now your flesh is altered cause you got all this stuff going on in your, in your body and in your mind. Now you, now you thinking certain things. Now you're. Uh, talking certain, you know, you you walking different, you talking different. I'm pretty sure everybody done been, you know, uh, drunk or high before, but if not, hey, kind man. But uh, we start back at the top. This is First Peter chapter five verse seven. It reads, "Casting all your care upon Him, for He careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour." Man, so understand. As soon as you hit that blunt, man. As soon as you pop that pill. As soon as you get drunk. As soon as you uh, put that stuff in your nose. Uh, hit that vape pen. Uh, smoke that cigarette. Uh, what, what, whatever, man. So, as soon as you, as soon as you do this thing, okay. Now you got, now you, now you got the devil out here seeking, seeking whom he may devour. Cause you know, once you, once you defile your temple, now you not, you feel me? Now you not. Now, now you giving the devil access to your mind. You giving him access to, to 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 the way you walk, to the way you talk, to the way you understand things and see things. So we all know when you when you drunk, you know why you think in the world, man. Somebody you you always hear about people uh drunk, even having a, a car crash or they or they at the bar fighting, and, and, and then when and then when you get high. Uh, and drinking, man, it, 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 it leads to fornication, adultery, and then we know all these things just leads to more sin, man. Right?
But yeah, it reads, going back to seven, man, it says casting casting all your care upon him for he cares for you. So I know in the world, man, people uh, you know, you know, especially in the times we ain't not, and, and, and it's, it's worse times to come, man. But you know, you know, days days get stressful, man. You might, you know, you might go to sleep stressed out. You might wake up stressed out. And so you feel like, hey, man, let me smoke this black. I'll be okay. Let me smoke this cigarette. I'll be okay. Let me pop this pill. I'll be all right. Now, I understand it, man. As soon as, soon as you do that, you setting yourself up for destruction, man, because you putting your, you cast your, Lord say cast your care upon him. Not upon, not upon your plug, your weed, man, your pill, man. Not upon the ABC stove. He say cast your care upon him. Don't, don't get me wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with drinking a little bit, but when you get drunk, man, you, you now you going too far. All right? Uh, like I said, I, like I said, I, I I know I know things get rough out here. Like I said, our people been been taught to think that, uh, you know, I I smoke this blunt and I forget about it, or I uh smoke this blunt and everything will be okay, or I feel better, and uh not understanding, man, you won't feel better. Things won't get better. Actually, things will get worse. Cause now you going out of pocket, uh, taking taking words from your mouth. You got kids, take words from the kids' mouth. And ultimately, you risking your life, man. Because the most high God say, defile, you say, don't defile your temple. Let's get that. Um, first Corinthians, man. This is uh, first Corinthians chapter three, verse 16. And it reads, know ye not that ye are the temple of God. So understand, man, we are the temple of God. All right. And that the spirit of God dwells in you. So the most high God, the spirit of the most high God, Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shah, it, it dwells in us, man. Right? So and it reads. Uh so you know, in, anytime you smoking or drinking, man, you you, you defile your temple and, and the most high God, he he is he is a holy guy. So he he not so, so now you making the most high God flee. You you, you making him you, you you pushing that spirit off, you feel me? Because now you now you fulfilling your you fulfilling your flesh. You feel me? The lust of your flesh. So so how can you, you know, walk in the spirit, but how can you walk in the spirit, but you high, you drunk, you feel me? You, 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 you making your flesh feel good. You're supposed to make the spirit feel good, right? This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So understand, man, you you, you have to defile your temple, whether it's uh, getting tattoos, um, drinking, you know, getting drunk, man, smoking, popping pills, uh whatever whatever uh no in any any way any way you defile defile your temple now you now you saying stuff up to be destroyed by the most high god man and it reads uh if it is three and seventeen if any man defile the temple of god him shall god destroy for the temple of god is holy which temple ye are so we are the temple of god and, and, and we're supposed to be holy man we supposed we supposed to be we supposed to be set apart. We supposed to not. We supposed to not do what what what, what the uh, what the other nations do. Cause ultimately, that, that, that's where these things come from. This, these popping pills, smoking. This this, this this not this it's not the stuff Jake do. This this the stuff the other nations. This the Edomites and the uh, Moabites and the uh, Ishmaelites. These they, 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 they customs and things, man. All right. Uh, Romans twelve and eleven, and it reads, "I beseech ye, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God." That you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service, man. So understand, you, ultimately, the, the, the body that the Most High gave you, you're supposed to use this body as, as a living sacrifice. You're supposed to use this body to do the work, man. It, it, he, he didn't, he didn't give you this body to, the, 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 uh, you no, know, fornicate, commit adultery, and, and, and smoke and drink, and you know. Just get high and uh you know fulfill, fulfill the, the fulfill the lust of the flesh, man. He didn't he didn't give you that body for this purpose. He gave you the body to do the work, man. Romans it's Romans 12 and 11 again. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. So we got we got to present our bodies a living sacrifice, man. And it reads, holy, acceptable. So it gotta be holy. It gotta be acceptable. I understand it, it, it's saying acceptable meaning if you out here drunk, if you out here high. Uh, every day you getting high, every day you getting drunk, every day you popping pills, you you out here uh, defiling your temple. The most like God, not gonna, he not gonna accept you like that, man. You you you're not gonna be able to come into the kingdom high. You're not gonna be able to come into the kingdom drunk, man. You, you see what I'm saying? All right. It says which is your reasonable service. So this 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 is our job, man. This this is our duty. This this something, this something we gotta do, right? Uh, let's read. 
get let's get second Corinthians. We get second Corinthians chapter seven eleven, and it reads, "Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfect perfecting holiness in the fear of our of fear of God." Man, that's beautiful. This second, I'm gonna read it again. This is second Corinthians chapter seven verse one. Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from our filthiness. So, man, you, 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 if you out there, if you out in the world smoking and drinking, popping pills, uh, putting stuff in your nose, know, whatever, whatever you're doing to defy your temple, man, uh, committing adultery, man. Because, like I said, it, 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 smoking weed is a thing. It, it, it's, it's, it's so it comes so it comes so. Everybody thinks it comes so cool, man. You, you, you see it and say, oh, oh man, I, 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 I can do it here. I, I, if they doing it, I should be able to do it. Nah, man, you shouldn't be able to do it. Nobody should be able to do it because you, you defile your temple, man. But like the scriptures say, uh, you got you got to cleanse yourself of this uh, of, 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 of this filthiness, man. Like I said, man, uh, the most I said, many are called, but few are chosen. And, 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 and it's, 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 it's hard being that chosen because is it, when you look up in the world you see everybody everybody doing the same thing so it, it, it's, 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 it's easier to do what everybody else is doing because you, you got you got him doing it, you got her doing it you got they doing it them doing it so you, you just pick a group and, and now you're doing it but scripture say he say cleanse ourselves of this filthiness man read it again second corinthians chapter 7 verse 1 Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh, man. All filthiness of the flesh, man. And like I said, they could be fornicate, committing adultery, uh, you know, you know, you, 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 any any lust of the flesh, man. You know, uh, smoking smoking your cigarettes, man. Uh, you know, just what, what you fornicating with your eyes, commit adultery with your eyes, man. Like uh, cleanse ourselves from all filthiness, man. Our filthiness. All right. Uh, next precept, and it reads: This is uh, First Peter, chapter one, verse thirteen, and it reads: Wherefore, grid up your loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, man. So understand, man. You, 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 If you're not sober, you, you, you definitely can't see these things, these prophecies coming to pass. Cause all you, all you, you, you hell, you, your eyes too low to see anything, man. All right. Uh, let's go back to First Corinthians. Uh, let me get First Corinthians chapter six and nineteen, and it reads, "What know ye not that your body is the temple of God? Is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye, which ye have of God." And ye are not your own, man. So understand, this this not this not your body, man. You 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 always hear women say that. Oh, well, well, well. It's it, this this my body. No, this this not your body. It, it, this this is the body the Most High God gave you. You feel me? And He gave you this body for a purpose. He gave you this body for a reason. He gave you a job to do this body. It's it's, it's our job to be sober, man. We we, we have to do the work. He he, we, he he didn't give us these bodies to to get tattoos, to, to lay down with everybody, to get abortions. He, he, he didn't give us his body to to uh, smoke cigarettes. He, he didn't give us his body to, 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 to pop pills, smoke weed, get drunk, to, 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 to defile our temple. Man, he didn't, he didn't give you this body for this, all right? He didn't give you this body for you to go get uh, surgery on your breast, surgery on your on your butt. Uh, what else they did in surgery with? I don't know, man. The, the, the most high, the most high gave us his body for a reason, man. All right, and not the reason. It's not. It's, it's, it's you, our people using it for the wrong reasons. All right. Uh, let's read it again. It's first Corinthians, first Corinthians, chapter six and nineteen. What know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own, man. So this, 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 this is. It's not our own. It's not our body, man. It, it, it don't belong to us, right? So you know, you know, when 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 a white man lets you rent some, you gotta take it back. You got you gotta give it back to him the same way. Same way he gave it to you, you gotta give it back to him. So when the Most High God gave us these bodies, we we gotta give it back to him the same way he gave it to us. You know, pure man, not not defiled with 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 the lust, 
with lust of the flesh and not defiled with all the strictness of the world. We got, we got to get the body back the same way he gave it to us. All right. Let's read that again. It's 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and 20. And it reads, For ye are, for ye, oh, this is, uh, start back at 19. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and 19. And it reads, What know ye not that, not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own. First Corinthians chapter 6 and 20. For ye are brought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body and in spirit, which 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 are God. So understanding the body and the spirit that we have, it, it, this, this is not us, man. So we got to glorify the most high God in body and in spirit. So you you, you gotta understand when, when you out here, when you out here, you know, uh like I said, just you know, laying that laying down with anybody, uh getting abortions, uh cutting on yourself, uh getting all these tattoos on your face and your arm and your neck. And now you now you defile your temple, man. And, and uh understand the, the, these bodies belong to the most high God. Most high God, that's why that's why that's why a lot of people gotta be destroyed. Cause most high God, he not he not gonna take these bodies back with with all these with all these tattoos and all, you don't you don't got you don't have to get five, six, and seven abortions and you 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 drunk every weekend you you out. You see, you see what I'm saying? Most most high don't want he don't want he don't want these corrupted bodies, man. He, all right. Uh, let's see what else I got. Let me get this is Galatians chapter five, verse sixteen, and it reads uh, sixteen and seventeen. This reads. This I say then, walk in the spirit, ye shall not ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the for the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that you would do. So that's why I say, man, that the, the, the flesh and the, and the spirit, that the contrary, that the, 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 understand if you're in the flesh and you fulfilling the lust of the flesh, if, if you high all the time, then you can't do things with the spirit because you high all the time. That, that's, that's why you, that, that's why, you know, if somebody drunk or somebody high, it's best not to even deal with them. It's best not even to, to even try to, you know, reprove, rebuke them because they can't get it because they, they what the scripture say? This I say then, walk in the spirit, ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that you would do. So I'm saying, so 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 what Scripture saying is, if, if you're in the flesh, man, you can't you can't do things with the spirit. And, and ultimately, if you, we know if you're in the spirit, then you won't be doing things with the flesh. You won't be out here getting high and, and smoking and drinking and uh, committing adultery and you know all these all these wicked and filthy filthy acts, man. All right. So I understand, brother. If you out, if you, if you if you out here high, you out here you out here high and, and, and smoking and getting drunk and uh, popping pills and, and, and thinking you in his truth or thinking that uh, there's the Most High God dealing with you. He not because how can he he he, he, he you, you he can't deal with you if, if you in, if you in the, if you in the flesh, man. They, they, they contrary one to another. You feel me? All right. Uh, Get Matthew twenty six and forty one. Let's see what And it reads, this is Matthew 26 and 41. And it reads, watch and pray. It says, watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak, man. The flesh is weak. So, 
you know, it, 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 it's it, the, 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 the flesh, the flesh for like, uh, flesh for like, oh, I, I can do this and, and I, I'll be all right, or I, this won't phase me, you know what I'm saying? The, 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 flesh, the, the, the flesh is willing to do anything, right? The, 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 the flesh, the flesh will do anything, and uh, but but, but we know that we know the, the, the spirit is the spirit is willing. The, 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 the spirit gonna act if we act, man. But 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 if we act in the flesh, you know, we, we, you know we, we, the, 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 the flesh we the, the flesh gonna have us doing this. The flesh gonna have us doing that, and, and going here and, and doing trying this. The, 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 the flesh gonna get weaker and weaker and weaker. So every time every time you gonna be you gonna, you gonna be trying to get higher than you was the last time, man. All right. Uh, last precept. And this is uh, this is Genesis. This is Genesis chapter one, verse twenty nine, and it reads, "And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed. Talking about you know every every plant, every everything bearing seed, man. All right, uh, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of the earth, and every tree, and which is the fruit of a tree." Yielding seed to you, it shall be for me. So that we, man, that, that, that weed you keep smoking, most I gave us that. He gave, he gave us all this stuff to eat, man. That the, those, those things are supposed to be used for for, for, for for our food, for you know, uh, you know, just uh, the spices and uh, seasonings and you know, stuff like stuff like stuff for that matter, man. He didn't give us this stuff to to, 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 to roll up and, and light up and smoke and, and you know, push smoke out, man. But with that, most high will, it was edifying. Uh, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the most high God, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rikah, Kodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles, the great millstone, Shalom, and Shalom to the hopeful elect.